what I want to do is now aim at this one particular specific okay. event and let's unfold this and get behind the mechanics of it and sure see how far we can get with it and so on. Okay. So um, close your eyes for me. Well, we, I, I do not want to put you through unnecessary emotional turmoil. So just let me ask you to do a little guessing for me first. Okay. okay. I don't want you to do this. Just guess for me. And that is if, if you were to like close your eyes and vividly imagine this moment when your mother is telling you, you know, that you're going to be leaving the private school going to public school. If you were to vividly imagine that, what number on a zero to 10 scale of intensity do you think you would get to? Uh, eight. Okay. Are you comfortable actually trying it? Yeah, sure. All right, go ahead. Close the eyes, run that movie in vivid turn. There's your mother and you're, you're getting rejected and all that. And tell me if you're still an eight or some other number. I'm still an eight. Okay. All right. Are you, you can open your eyes. As you were doing that, were you then or feeling now something physical in your body, a heart pounding, a tightness someplace or something? Yeah, my stomach felt like the big knot in my stomach. Okay. All right. Anything else physical? Like a band around my head. All right. Anything else? Well, instead of feeling rejected, I mean, I was just getting angry. So I was tensing up. I was really tensing up. I had this feeling I was going to explode. Okay, so just a point of reference here. When you first to talked about this event, you were talking about the emotion, which is what we're really after. Okay? Right, right. Um, being that of rejection. Hold yeah. On a, hold on a second. Adam, I got to call you back. All right. That was my son. Okay. Um, so it was rejection. Now you're shifting over towards anger. I was hearing anger anyway, yeah. myself, even though you didn't yeah. use the word. Okay. So we've got, to just understand, we got two emotions going on with this. Which one of those is dominating, do you think? Right. And probably anger. Yeah. That would, that would have been my guess too. Yeah. But yeah. I can see it related, and always correct me, please. I can see it related to rejection because nobody likes to be rejected. We get angry about it. Right. And nobody likes to feel unworthy and we get angry about it. Right. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So and anger, I do get angry. Yeah. I, I get very angry over it. Of course. Of course. And not just for myself. When I see anything happening outside of myself as well, I get yeah. very angry about it. Yeah. If I yeah. see somebody being treated unfairly. It does not go. <laughs> I don't okay. control myself well. Well, okay. So. Let's explore that for a moment. Okay. It's one thing, it's one thing to be concerned about these things. Like when you see somebody else being handled inappropriately or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to be concerned about it. And that would be, let's say, normal. Okay. It's another thing to go over the top and the volcano blows. That's excess. And that doesn't help you or anybody right. when that happens. Right. And so what we aim at here is the excess, the over the top bit, the volcano that does not really need to erupt. <laughs> okay. It could just have the nice little boiling lava that, that motivates you to do things that would be useful and all of that. Okay. We all have that in this world. Okay. Let me look at my notes here a second. All right, let's you and I, my hair, no, do I wanna do something else? Just a minute. Um, let me, let me 
ask you something about your mother's the one that tells you you're going to go to public school. Now, are you angry at your mother? Are you angry at your brother? Are you angry at the circumstances? Are you what? All of the above. I am angry at my mom, my brother, my father. He's not even there, but yeah, for letting it happen. And the circumstances, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's just, just for the moment, and what we're going to do now is, is technically called reframing. You'll see that as the course unfolds, okay? But we want, what we want to do is, is look at the source, the presumed source of your anger. Your mother, in this case, because she's the one telling you that you're going to go to public school. And I want to ask you a bit about it. Is she doing this because she doesn't like you? Is it doing this because she has a certain view, which maybe you don't agree with, but she's doing this in your best interest? Why do you think she's doing it? Um, well, in hindsight, I think I know. I probably didn't at the time. Um, my parents were out having way too much fun and spending all their money. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, and I didn't, I, I mean... I don't think I, I, I might have known. No, I didn't know at the time. All right. So I think it was. A, and also my mother never really thought that women. Would, you know, they didn't need what. A, a, a son needed a daughter certainly didn't need what a, a son needed. Yeah. Uh, I, I, am I am I hearing the. The belief by your mother that that girls um, are good for making babies and they need to be obedient and this kind of stuff? In some respects, it would, if that suited her and that suited that moment in time. Okay. My mother was very complicated. Okay. Would I be correct? I don't even, I know, I know very little about your mother. Okay. Except I think you said she was a drinker and all of that. Did, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would I be Correct in assuming that one of your mother's biggest needs, or maybe maybe her biggest need, would be love. Yes, that's true. Okay, so we need to go party. We need to do this. We need to do all kinds of stuff to help fill a love void. Am I am I am I seeing this right? Yeah. Okay. Everybody has that to one degree. We just do different things with it. You have it. I have it. We all have it. Okay. Right. Part of it. So while we don't ex excuse her behavior, we're not going to excuse the behavior. She doesn't have to go party. She can sit back and be a better mother to you. you know. But she's got this unrest inside. She drinks too much. She's got a party and all of this to help take care of her lack of love or anxieties or whatever you want to call it. Okay. She's looking out for herself and not understanding the damage she's doing to you. And would I be right? Right. Yes. Okay. Again, we're not excusing the behavior. We are making an effort towards understanding it. Right. And that's a step towards freedom. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a little reframe. That's we call that reframing. Okay. So anyway, anyway, let's you and I bring an unseen therapist to see what we can do about this mess. How's that? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and let me re let me remind you. Um, that we are going to be focusing on one specific event, your mother telling you you're going to public school. Right. Okay. You may be tempted for your mind to go all these other places. And that's okay. Human beings do that. Just <laughs> notice if you do it. But we're going to try to stay focused on the one event. Mm -hmm. With me? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's going to be easy for you, Andrea. I'm going to narrate the whole thing. Okay. All you have to do is just sort of go along. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. That's all you. Yeah, just go along. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, yeah, let's just, okay, do that. All right, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right. Take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. There we go. And as a way of inviting unseen therapists, just simply... 
align yourself with her perfect love, even though you don't have perfect love, by, by just recalling a loving moment in your own life, just doing your best to align and nod your head whenever you're there. Mm-hmm. All right, good, good. All we're really doing is just aligning with unseen therapists. She's got much more, she's nothing but love. All right. That's not quite us at this point. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna give her a little something to work with. But what we're telling her is we're listening. Interesting enough, she's always guiding us. <laughs> we are not listening. Our ego's in the way and we're too busy getting angry at stuff and feeling rejected and everything else. Okay. Anyway, so now we shift our focus. There we are, five or six years old in public school. We love the public school. You love the public school. It's great. And your mother comes and says, uh, 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 you're going to go. We're taking you out of private school. We're going to put you in public. And you'll love it. You'll really like it because of this, that, and the other thing. Although your brother's going to stay in public school or private school. And you are, well, you feel rejected. But as you look at it now, big time anger. God, you just screwed up my whole life. Although you may not have said that at the moment. You can say it now. (laughs) And you're angry, justifiably angry about it. Even excess angry, volcano erupting kind of angry from time to time if you really get into it. It makes your stomach have a knot in it, for example. All right. Just thinking about it. So we're going to represent this in our in, in your imagination to unseen therapists in a metaphorical type way. We're just going to imagine that emotion, that anger, how dare you kind of thing, as an unwanted vibration around your heart. It's going to ta 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 like that. We're not asking you to actually create a vibration around your heart. Just we're going to imagine it. It's a metaphor. Unseen therapist sees it. She understands you're five or six years old. And yeah, yeah, it may be unfair. Yeah, after all, you're a girl. Or at least that's your mother's, mother's view. And you don't really need to be in private school like your brother does. And after all, you know, it costs money and she'd rather party and all these other things. And you're angry about it justifiably. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Unseen therapist understands that. She understands the impact on you. She also understands, as you do as an adult, most likely, that if you keep carrying that around, it's going to cost you over time. So unseen therapist, in her loving wisdom and in your imagination, Sense a nice, cooling, healing, loving breeze toward you. It enters your body. It surrounds your heart. And that excess vibration, that emotion cannot survive in all that love, in all that understanding. This happened a long, long time ago, and it's still causing you a knot in your stomach. Something's missing here, okay? You're carrying around stuff that is expensive to you. So, that emotion cannot survive within all this understanding love. So, as that love circulates around the unwanted vibration around your heart, the vibration starts going, ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. And we're going to do that again. There you are. Mother's telling you public school. Uh, goes the volcano. All right. Ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. With the breeze, of course. Ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta. Now, Andrea, if you would, just repeat that yourself. A time or two or three or however many times you want the emotion, unwanted vibrations, da, 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 the breeze, da, 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 all the anger, the volcano, and so on. And just do it until such time as you've gone as far as you can go. There are no grades for this. You don't get an A or a 
C or anything else. You just get what you get and we discuss it. So do that whenever you think you've exhausted it. Open your eyes and we'll talk. Take your time. Yeah, I couldn't make it come anymore. Because... Okay. All right. Well, let me ask you, were you able to follow along okay? Did you have mm -hmm. competing thoughts? or? No, only at the end when I was losing the anger. I, I, at first, I thought it was a competing thought, but really what it was, was that I, was see, I saw my mom a few times, and I just was thinking differently, different, like, oh, you must really be hurt. Or... You know, I was feeling like compassion. Something was well, really wrong. So yeah. I would, you know, have these breakthrough moments. Well, that's good. And, and see, a way to describe your mother's behavior in general, not just in this specific event, but otherwise, would be irresponsible in a way. Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. I be right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, again, we're not excusing the behavior. She's an no. adult. She could behave differently, but given her own background, her own beliefs, her own anxieties, her own unrest, and so on. She behaves the way she does and probably does not really recognize the damage she's doing to you. Right. Okay. We're not excusing it. We're understanding it. Right. So now, one, one thing you'll learn in this course, Andrea, is, is we always need to test Test, test. We never want to be fooled by a temporary result. We always want to test what goes on. So our first test, close your eyes. Close your eyes for me. Run this movie. There she is telling you this, and you are angry, rejected, blah, 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 blah. Run that movie and tell me on a scale of zero to 10, are you still at eight? More, less, what? No, not at all. I don't feel angry. It's just... Are you feeling feel, rejected? Feeling rejected? No, I feel very sad for her. I don't like to use the word sad. I don't want to say I feel sorry for her, but it, it, it's just like looking at someone who's so broken. So there's no there's no anger. Got kind of compassion, maybe a little. I don't know. What about what about the knot in your stomach and the band no, around your band? That's, band? that's gone. That's gone. The it's, tension, the tension in your body from being angry. Gone. All right. Okay. All that, Andrea, is good news. But I have to add something to that. It's good news for now. Right. Remember, we never want to be fooled by a temporary result so tomorrow morning when you wake up run that movie but let me emphasize again stay on that movie that anger about that thing about public school da da da, da you stay on there because the temptation may be go to other events right stay that yeah if you do get worked up about it you get some intensity it's not a zero it's a five or something okay and this is part of your advanced training now, you want to recognize or distinguish what is it that makes it the five if that's what happens, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you now feeling guilty, for example? That would be a different aspect, wouldn't it? We didn't we even talk about guilt, if guilt shows up. We didn't even talk about guilt on this, okay? Uh, maybe you feel guilty for being angry. I don't know, I, I, all made up, but... Or there may have been something else in there. Now you're now you're really angry, not at your mother. You're angry at your brother, you know, because he gets to stay, so and so, mm -hmm. and your father for not doing anything about it. These are all other aspects. Are you with me? Right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And so it's being able to distinguish those things that allows you now to be thorough 
with this. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. We want to be thorough with it. We're always testing and want to be thorough. 